Hey, it's Matricity. Welcome to my matrix. Have you ever been your own Google doctor? You know, when you decided to go on the internet and look up stuff and decide that's what you had and it wasn't and you were all wrong. Well, let me tell you, it's not a good thing to do. Quite a few years ago, well, not that long ago, I was at my church on a weekend and we were having a cleanup day. It was close to Easter, so we were cutting back the bushes, trimming the hedges, getting everything really pretty for Easter. And so me and one other lady, we were working on a group of hedges by the office and we had on gloves and, you know, we spent the day chopping bushes and pulling out vines and everything else and, you know, went home, no problem. Well, that night, I discovered that I had an itchy patch on the back of my hand. Didn't know what it was. Didn't think anything about it. But I just put some, I don't know what I put on, maybe some cream or lotion or something, and it felt better. Well, the itchiness was still there. So then I thought, well, you know what? This is something more. Let me see what I have beneath the cabinet. So I got some calamine lotion, and I put that on, and it felt much, much better. So there I was, like, for a couple of days, maybe for about three days, in, three days using calamine lotion, and it would feel much better. And I thought, okay, I don't know what this is, but uh, maybe a bug bit me. I don't know. So I was still using the lotion, and then I realized that the little spot was not so little anymore. It was kind of like spreading and getting a little bit bigger, and it was still just an itchy. So then I said, you know what, let me go to the pharmacy. I'm going to get some cream that they recommend. So they recommended... Um, some, uh, I guess, hydrocortisone cream, and they asked me what it could be, and I wasn't sure. I thought maybe a bug bite. I don't know, because I was outside clipping the edges. So I put that cream on, you know, several times a day, and it felt better, but it was still so itchy. I tried not to scratch it, but I could not help myself because it was so horribly itchy. And then I realized that it began to get a little weepy, you know, began to like drip a little, like like moisture my skin had become kind of hard on top because I was scratching it so much it was like hard like a scar and a little weepy underneath and I thought you know what I don't know what's wrong but let me go to the internet because the internet will surely tell me what is wrong well I looked to the internet and I looked up all sorts of possible skin problems and everything else and I decided I had some sort of you know rash or something like eczema that I'd never had before well that wasn't it I didn't have eczema um, what I had was a really, really bad case. I'm running out of time. Part two is coming. You know, what I had was the most god awful case of untreated poison ivy. When I went to the doctor and I told the doctor, well, I went on Google and I found out what was wrong and I've got this and I've that got that. And they said, no, ma'am, you don't have any of the things you just said. You have poison ivy. And I thought, poison ivy? They said, yeah, poison ivy that's been three weeks untreated and it's now internal. It's in your bloodstream. And because of that, we're going to have to give you all sorts of shots and steroids and everything else. And my doctor was so mad at me because I used Google as the doctor. So I had to get a shot in my hip, my butt, because that was the only place they could give me that shot because the poison ivy was so bad. Um, they gave me some sort of steroid. I don't know if the steroid shot or what, but I got two shots in the butt, two different things, because the poison ivy was in my bloodstream. And it was untreated, and it was so horrible. And she looked at my hand, and she instantly, in an instant, she knew what was wrong with me, that I had poison ivy, not all these other things that Google told me that I had. Well, she gave me a stern lecture that day and told me not to ever do that again, that Google was not a doctor, and that if something is wrong, I needed to call the doctor, not try to look it up on the web and decide this is what's wrong with me. Because even though this was something kind of simple, it was poison ivy. Um, this is poison ivy that I didn't get rid of right away. She said because it was in my blood, it was going to take months for it to go away, and it did. Um, that my hand healed up, it stopped weeping and everything, probably, you know, after a good two months. But then it was itchy, not so much on the surface, but underneath the skin, which let me know that it was still in my blood. So it was still itching me internally, if that makes any sense. So, and, every, and the doctor said that even when you think it's gone, you can have a flare-up because it's in your blood still, and it's going to take a while to get out. So it took probably a good year for that poison ivy to finally go away. Um, but it was just a nightmare because 
I'd be perfectly fine for, you know, a month or two and then suddenly my hand would start itching, not on the outside, but on the inside, if that makes any sense, because that poison ivy was in my bloodstream. So you know what? Google is not your doctor. Don't let Google be your doctor. Don't follow behind me and thinking I know everything from the internet that you internet can tell me because, you know, if it's on the internet, it must be true, right? No, it's not. If you need a doctor, go to a real doctor. Don't let Google be your doctor. Not a good choice. I learned the hard way.